Let's take you live now over Capitol Hill. More trouble for the military's F-35 Joint Strike Fighter Program. The chairman of the House Armed Services Committee is blasting the jet, lashing out at its expense and saying he wants to cut our losses. Mike Gooding has details. And for what we have spent in terms of what we've gotten back, is it's just painful. House Armed Services Committee Chairman Adam Smith of Washington was brutal in his assessment of the military's $478 billion F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program. I want to stop throwing money down that particular rat hole. A government accountability office report last May concluded that the F-35 is not meeting standards aimed at ensuring consistent high-quality products and fielded aircraft do not meet reliability goals. Current Department of Defense plans call for acquiring a total of 2,456 F-35s, despite the plane's 873 unresolved design flaws. Smith told the Brookings Institute he wants to make a new plan. So what I'm going to try to do is figure out how we can get a mix of fighter attack aircraft that's the most cost effective, bottom line, okay? And I'm telling you right now that a big part of that is finding something that doesn't make us have to rely on the F-35 for the next 35 years. But Pentagon spokesman John Kirby on Tuesday said the DOD still strongly supports the F-35. The F-35 remains the premier air system of choice for three of the armed forces seven international partners, six foreign military sales customers. It routinely demonstrates high-end capabilities uh, at the hands of our joint and international warfighters, and it's performing in combat operations uh, from land and from the sea. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.